Just occasionally, you want a momentary switch that behaves as a latching switch. For instance, the spring-loaded switch or the push button that you can get for your jetty. And so when you pull the switch or press the button, it switches on. Next time you press it, it switches off. Next time you press it, it switches on. Next time you press it, it switches off, and so on. Now, the old Multiplex 4000 used to have a little uh, bit of software you could attach to any switch like that, and it would convert it from momentary to latching. What a pity Jetty doesn't. Only Jetty does. They just haven't called it that, and therefore... Nobody's really realised it's there, and it's hiding in plain sight in front of our faces. However, there are two ways to get a momentary to latching switch. Uh, one way is to use a Lua script that's available from the Jetty Studio or direct from the rc-thoughts.com, uh, written by Tero Salmanen. i sorry if I've mispronounced your name, Tero. Uh, and why did he write this? Well... The ability to do it within the Jetty software only came out in one of the most very recent firmware updates, and Tero wrote this quite a while ago. So anyway, if we have a look in Applications, User Applications, Add, and I've downloaded it through Jetty Studio. There it is, RC Thoughts, Momentary to Latching Switch. Why not use that? Well, if, like me, you have a Jetty 16, it's meant to work on the Jetty 16, they say it does, but look what happens with mine. Just won't work. Um, my 16 seems particularly limited in its memory ability. It, it's going back a little bit, but uh, there we go. So the option of using the lovely Lua script for momentary to latching is not available to me. Or you may want to just do it through Jetty. Anyway, so where is this switch? Hiding in plain sight. Very clever. Go to Advanced Properties. No surprise to you that it's a logical switch. And let's go in. Enable it. And I'm going to use my spring-loaded switch. This one here. And I want it to be momentary when I pull it towards me. So, Control a Control one I shall pull it towards me. Say OK to that. B, Control 2 is exactly the same thing again. Pull it towards me. Okay, so control one, control two is the switch or the push button exactly the same. And the condition you're going to choose is the A on B off. Now watch what happens. It's off. I'll ping the switch. It's on. I'll ping the switch again. It's off. On, off, on, off. You think, hang on, if pulling it is both switching it on and switching it off, how is it alternating between them? Well, it's very simple. In the off position, it doesn't matter how many times you activate control 2, um, it, it's already been activated, it's off. So it's waiting for control 1 to be activated. Pulling it towards you activates control 1, even though control 2 thinks it's on, so now it goes on. And that next time, well, it's already on, so it must mean going off. Off it goes. Lovely. So say OK to that. Let's just prove it very quickly. We shall allocate it to... What shall we allocate it to? Let's go. The throttle. Clear that out. Put it in. Logical switch. One. OK to that. Come out of there. Look at the servo. There is the throttle. So each time I pull it, it should toggle from minus 100 to plus 100. There we go. So Jetty has a momentary to latching switch under our noses since the last firmware update. There you go. Have fun with that.